Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Taurus Sun Moon and Rising Sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is the month of June 2019 and I want to say Capricorns! <laughs> it is the um, Energy Vibration Reading for the month of June for the Capricorns. I'm so sorry. I just... So, um, ladies and gentlemen, please let's take a minute to... Um, ground ourselves so that we can see the energy vibration of the readings coming out okay so please like and share these videos cross watch cross watch to see what's coming up this video is going to take another hour long so please use the, the link below for the on demand uh, deal okay so um this month has four weeks so let's see this month has the energy vibration of the temperance so it's a good month for you um capricorns let's see what's coming out for the capricorn sun moon and rising sign okay so we're calling in the the pure light beams ascendance masses the god and goddesses um my guiding angel the universal guiding angels for the capricorns to see what's coming in Okay, Capricorns. What's coming up for the Capricorns? Okay, so we have um, in the first week of June, the energy of strength, inner strength, finding inner strength to move forward. A lot of people have been finding this. So the first week you are going to be having to find inner strength to move forward, okay? So um, this inner strength is more of uh, you have come to a period and now you're about to start a new chapter. In your life so it's not a really um, hardship but maybe it's just being busy and that sort of a thing what's coming up for the Capricorns in the second week we have the energy of the 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 um, air event where you guys are dealing with a group of people an organization in the second week now this could be a situation at work but it could be another situation of outside influences that you have to deal with okay so that's an earth energy so you have fire and earth what's coming up for the capricorns in the third week we have the energy of temperance that is coming up which is the energy vibration for the month and this is the energy of temperance coming up um, in the third week another earth energy so obviously there's balance between you and others that is coming up in the month of June and at the end we have uh, the situation of uh, the Emperor okay this is uh, um, people in authority stability in your life your managers business partners business uh, and this is coming up in the fourth week overall it's not really a bad month okay um, we have we begin the month with fire we have uh, the hurt sign balancing out uh, um, in the second week and the third week and whatever the situation is is that you're um, it's a month where you're releasing yourself uh, from a negative influence and seeing the truth uh, from relationships and people around you okay so as I look at your month, it is a month of really balance. It's a month of really bringing balance in the month. And I should say, um, this month energies is, is really one of changes that is coming up because what is transpiring is that um, you're basically at the verge of bringing balance to situation between you, yourself, people, organization, okay? Because the energy of balance comes back up. I think the Virgos are the ones who have gotten the best reading and um, why is that is I think it's because they are balancing out a lot of situations so some of you could be receiving help from the Virgos in the third week in the first week you have the energy where the Sagittarians could be coming in and helping you please check out the general readings um, in the second week the Emperor which is the Tauruses could be coming in these are organization groups of people and then in the last week you're having a situation um, to deal with the emperor which is um, could be people in authority or your boss or um, people in powerful positions so be aware so let's see what is the energy with strength and the air event the energy with strength and the air event um, whatever is transpiring um, the energy with strength and the air friend comes up and you have the three of Pentacles so 
um, you are basically dealing and working with other people you're trying to find the strength to deal with these people okay so it could be a situation at work because you're trying to resolve a situation um, at work is when you're working with other people and trying to find the inner strength to deal with these people because there's deep, different types of people different types of situation organizations so in an organization you will meet different types of people and you have to just learn to work with them and um, this is the biggest problem um, is that there are some people who do not have a management skill um, working in um, organization you have to know if you're a management or you're in management how to deal with certain people because people are people and people are not really easy to be, deal with and this is a situation that is going to come up so you're trying to work out the best possible um way to deal with these people okay um <laughs> that's the capricorn things because capricorns are very diplomatic and very profession so um this is really where your own um personal attitude and is going to be coming out is in the first week and the second week of in the third week um sorry in the second week going in the third week where there is complete balance um you are dealing with someone um the two of cups so you're trying to find balance with someone in an organization um to you know work together with them so this is about you balancing out situation with you and another person because it is um this month is about balance and definitely um, there are people in groups organization that you need to um, balance out certain situation with and I love this energy because it's a two of cups so obviously people wants to work together with you to bring whatever it is in balance between you and them okay so this is it's really a good month where you're balancing out issues between you and others temperance and the Emperor um, some of you temperance and the Emperor what is that saying for the Capricorns for the month of June we're calling upon the angels and guides temperance and the Emperor what is that saying there is love that is going to be coming to you so this is beautiful okay um, this is a wonderful energy because what is transpiring is that uh, um, it could be you and people in power trying to balance out a situation that was uh, um deceptive or that went wrong and they have found out what exactly had transpired and now they're trying to work with you to balance out the situation a lot of love is going to be coming to some of you because there was some injustice um situation that has transpired and now they have seen the truth to what has transpired and now they're trying to work together work with you and others to balance out the situation so i'm seeing a lot of love coming from people in authority towards you and it could be also on the work floor that your boss is um, working together with you a lot of positive energy is coming from your boss um, towards you so this is so wonderful because it's as if um, some of you it can be in work some of you can be your personal life some of you it could be um, an unjust situation that happens in the, in, in a hospital uh, in a um, you know in, in in immigration in whatever it is whatever huge corporation organization that people has to do it could be in a bank it could be in a college it could be in a university that people have unjustly accused you or there was something that definitely went wrong where you were um, treated unfairly and this this balance is going to be coming in for you Capricorns okay so let's look at the elephant in the second week and let's see what is happening with this energy of the elephant in the second week energy for the elephant in the second week oh you're gonna win big time big time this is a big win okay people have a strange reason to say about this card but this is a big win this is you the Capricorn standing out with the three swords and the other people behind is just oh damn uh, it, it's, it's like 
after all we have done, you know, um, they've really come out on top? Yes, because Capricorns are people, when they're working on a positive energy, they're really upright people. They speak the truth and they do what is right, you know, and um, Capricorns, and especially when Capricorns come with perfectionists, when Capricorns are perfectionists, they don't break the rule. They go and they do exactly what is to be done. And people have unjustly um, worked against you and now you came out on top. And trust me, a lot of you were, um, de um, a, a lot of you were deliberately, people deliberately worked against you. And now what is transpiring, what is happening is that the universe is definitely bringing balance in your life this is really a beautiful beautiful reading because with you and the organization and a group of people you came out on top because you stood up for the injustice that has transpired you stood up because you know that there was some unjust and unjust situation and you stood up for this and now you are coming out on top the energy of temperance is in the third week. Let's see what is happening to the energy of temperance in the third week. I'm seeing a new offer that is going to be coming in. Definitely a new offer is going to be coming in. And I know a lot of people say, yeah, another card is behind it. Yes, another card is behind it. <laughs> so, um, really a wonderful, wonderful month, okay? Because an offer is definitely going to be coming in and look at what is going to be happening. Bam, you Capricorns, you rock all the time. So wonderful, wonderful situation, wonderful energy is going to be coming out because what is transpiring is that in the third week, our offer is going to be coming to you and someone is, a, uh, this offer is a offer of love from someone who cares about you. But this offer is also an offer from an organization, an institute, see, who is going to be offering you a place. Um, and, and, and this could be an offer of a new position. Um, yes, definitely, because someone else wants to work with you or collaborate with you. And I'm um, seeing the energy, as I said, as uh, um, the emperor with the cup of love that is offering you. So it's as if he realized, oh my God, this person um, really, really um, is, is vibrating uh, uh, in the positive energy and the eye energy. You are going to be receiving an offer um, from the king of pentacles, okay? Um, you king of pentacles could be receiving an offer so it could be coming from a Taurus or a Virgo or another Capricorn but definitely offer is coming up okay and whoever this person is this person is going to be offering you an offer that you can't um, that you can't um, deny it's, it's like the offer is is um, good okay it's really a good offer so i don't know <laughs> this is a new debt but ladies and gentlemen look at this king he looks like a woman doesn't he <laughs> i have been I, the, the first time I've, I've seen it i was like whoa is that the wrong photo i haven't done a review on this deck because this is a new deck and i did it for you guys as usual i'm getting i'm receiving i always go get new decks um um, for you guys and this is the month of June we're ending the first six months and I thought yesterday to get a new deck for you guys but this king look like a woman leave a message because I don't know this king really looks like a woman okay I'm gonna do a review on this deck so you can pick it up it is the Tara guide and this is by Julian Sharman Burke so this is the deck that I'm using. I haven't done the review yet, so I will do the review. I just wanted to use it for this monthly readings. I don't know. She kind of looked like a woman. The skin kind of looked like a woman. It's just my thing. So I guess we'll have a masculine and a feminine. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. That looked like a woman, and it's supposed to be the king. I want to see what the woman looks like. Maybe um, the woman looks like, the queen looks like the king. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, um wonderful wonderful energies is coming out you're in your you're in the, the the flow of the month love the two of cups is your energy vibration for this month 
it's you're balancing out the two of cups is your central this is what you guys will be working on the two of cups is coming up um, at work um, or working with other people in organization to bring a balance to a situation and it is also coming up in your personal life but also with authority figures okay so this is really positive for you Capricorns whatever the situation and the unjust whatever unjust situation that has taken place this is going to be balancing out the two of cups is you and another person or you and an organization um, let's say that the organization has unjustly accused you there was a situation where you were overpriced or and uh, there was a situation with a hospital situation um, with surgery that didn't go well or a situation where someone has used your information that sort of a thing it's going to be balanced out in the month of June so you have the energy of the two of cups in the month of June and I stop leaving names of what is going on in the month because there's so many specific things and this two of cups could be de dealing with a situation with you and your child it could be dealing with a situation with you and your parents it could be and a lot of you whatever um, situation that you have with your parents this is definitely going to be working out for you because it's a month of balancing out situation with parents so it doesn't really matter how old you are and even if your parents have died um, somehow um, some way whether in your dream time um, some situations um, things are going to be working out there's a win-win a victory um, for you guys you have a victory and an offer is going to be coming in a lot of people say, um, see the two of ones and saying oh you're standing waiting no the two of ones is a portal it's the opening of an offer that is coming in okay I can listen to people reading and there is just from they start to say things about a card I can just stop and walk away because um, I'm like that's bullshit because when you know the energies and uh, of the Torah then you realize that whatever they're saying it's not really connected with you um, so that is it and that's why I always guide people to go listen to the other readings okay so let's check out um, what is transpiring I'm seeing the night um, I'm seeing you young people between the ages of 18 and 45 um, you're offering love to someone you men between the ages of uh, um, 18 and 45 is coming towards someone wanting to offer love to this person okay so remember this that whoever you are out there is as if you're coming towards um, someone offering love it's as if you want to be so connected with this person you feel this person from a heart space and you're moving towards them because you want to build a family with them and it's as if you're you're tired of looking for love in the wrong places so check out your love reading to see what is going to be coming up in your love readings okay I think I might use this deck to do the love readings but we'll see um use the link in the on the month to check out the love readings okay I'm definitely see the knight of uh, Pentacles is really moving towards someone out there or it could be another um, hurt sign person that is moving towards you okay let's see we have the energy of strength the three of Pentacles and the air of fan the energy of strength the three of Pentacles and the air of fan what is that saying for the Tauruses for the month of June what is that saying for the Tauruses for the month of June okay so some of you were dealing with um, and Aries Leo or Sagittarius and you had to find inner strength and you could be working with this person on the work floor um, and it is and and some of you this person could be a lawyer or someone in an organization that has done something injustice to you and it's as if they found out what she has done and they're trying to resolve the situation okay so here you are um, trying to um, have um, trying to balance out the situation it could be a Sagittarian okay 
So some of you could be dealing with a Sagittarian in the organization. This person is coming up as family member, but it's also coming up if you're working on a work floor that you're dealing with this lady and it's a Sagittarian. It's coming up as a Sagittarian. Or it could be this woman is working in an organization and as a, has done something deceptive. Uh, it could be a doctor, it could be a nurse, it could be whoever the person is. It could be the insurance company where she has changed something on your doc. Something. It could be someone who is working in government that has a change and do something injustice. Okay? So be aware of that. The energy of the elephant, the two of cups, and temperance. What is the message for the Capricorns for the month of June? What is the message for the Capricorns? Okay. So the energy of the eye princess comes up and it is and the eye princess is here. Your spirit guides are saying to you, listen to your own intuition about this person or the situation that is transpiring. Okay, listen to your intuition and not the intuition of others because obviously someone is trying to pull a wool over your eyes, but you need to open up your eyes. So don't let people tell you what they think it is, but you show them what it is, okay? So we have Temperance, the Ace of Cups, and the Emperor, what is coming up? Temperance, the Ace of Cups, and the Emperor. What is that? What is coming up? We have some um, regrets. We have some regrets, okay? We have some regrets. So we're going to check out um, the energy of the readings uh, um, because you have some regrets dealing with someone in power or it could be at work, but you have some regrets, okay? Um, the person is showing you love, but you're like... Just let me do my work and pay me and pay me and that's it i don't need your love <laughs> i <laughs> once i did a reading for someone and the person <laughs> called me and said oh my god you read that so good she's like yeah i just think lady just pay me my <laughs> pay me for give me my check at the end of the month that's it i really don't care <laughs> so um, this is a situation. It's not as if there's an ending is coming in or anything. It's as if uh, all of a sudden this person starts to show you love and you're thinking, I'm working my ass off. I'm on the paid. And you have been so freaking ridiculous. And now all of a sudden you're showing me all this love. I don't really need it. Just pay me and let me go. <laughs> okay. Three of Pentacles and the Five of Swords with the Two of Cups. What is that about for the Capricorn in the month of June? Yeah, news is going to be coming in letting you know that you have won a battle, okay? There was some situation in an organization and you have found out something for some of you. This is what is coming through. You have found out something and you have showed them that there was some lies and deception, okay? And news is going to be coming in saying that you're, you were right. There was something a little bit off and you were right, okay? Now, there's definitely an offer of love that is coming in. I'm seeing a, off, a, a, a huge corporation, organization, um, institute is going to be offering you something, okay? Take that offer, okay? Take that offer because what I'm realizing is that some of you could be working someplace and it's as if uh, the manager or the boss think that, okay, you know, you're here so I can say anything, I can do anything, whatever. And then a huge corporation, somehow you could have known someone in the corporation and they said, hey, you know, you would be good for this position. Would you like to have this position? And that is going to come over to you at the end in, say, the third week, going in the, the fourth week, and you're going to take it. And then your boss, all of a sudden, when they realize that you're about to, you know, however they're going to realize that, they're going to start showing you some love and you're going to be thinking too late it's gone you know that song okay so the two of cups the two whoopsie daisy okay ladies and gentlemen they start again i i, I had that i was doing i was starting to read it i had started to read it
page of swords in reverse. Okay, so whatever there was, there was a, a situation where there was either someone on your phone, some investigation, someone trying to find out something, and now um, everything came out for some of you. For some of you, um, the investigation is over, okay? Um, for some of you, the investigation is over. For some of you, um, the truth came out about people, about what was really going on about ex exactly what was really going on so the truth came out about what was going on okay all right let's see some of you have win a battle against maybe another taurus virgo or capricorn it could be yourself this is the transvestite um king that looks like a woman okay so it's a male and a female, and it's for people 45 years and older. So you have won um, a battle and you're going to be receiving an offer. See, the cards just keep on flipping out. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> oh my God, you Capricorns. I don't know, Capricorns and Virgo, give me this energy. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> okay, it just flipped out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you, are going to be successful especially the people 45 years and older you are going to be successful um you are going to be so successful over the bs that has been happening in your life okay because what has been transpiring is that there was some bs with an organization and shit that took place that you're going to be finding out and some of you you're um, your your company whoever you work with at your company has something to do with it and it was as, as if they were testing you or trying to find out something or whatever but baby girl ladies and gentlemen young men BAM you are going to be victorious and triumphant over this because whoever these people and whatever the situation is or was you're definitely going to be trends um, coming out on top you have the five of swords where you took down everyone just by communicating and I'm seeing some of you just say one little sentence and you break the shit down all the lies and deception that was going on one little sentence. so at the end of June you're coming out rocking from all different sides so if you had a problem with people anyone it could be um where you live um you know name it okay name it it could be where you live that people have been um be nasty um with you and that sort of a thing and lies and deception because i'm seeing a huge group of people you were dealing with the situation with a huge group of people and whatever lies and deception that has transpired and has taken place listen you're getting over this the young people i'm seeing you moving towards um young people are basically moving towards connecting with people they want to make a family they want to bow a relationship they want to settle down so i'm seeing this for people between the ages of 18 and 45 that you're moving towards someone and you have love for this person but what i'm seeing is that whoever you're moving towards you're not letting them know and it could be a, a same earth sign person so go back and listen to the full moon reading because i'm seeing at the end of the month you really want to connect with this person but it's as if you're not saying what you want and this person is like listen cut the bs out what it is that you want what it is that drives you towards me and all this you guys want is a family it's as if you you just want to complete a family with someone and a lot of you all it is as if now is the time for you to be connected and have this family okay so just tell the person what it is that you want because this person is going crazy they don't know what you want 
and obviously some of the you you young people are in love with someone and you're offer them a lot of this love but you cannot it's as if you can't find the words to say hey I want to be with you I you make me feel good you make me you show me things that no one has ever showed me before you need to tell the person the person can't just know okay we're moving on I'm working with the Buddha wisdom we have two cards you're going to get six cards to choose from you have to choose one card um, per per time okay so the first card what is in the first card the first card is a Dugrecha and this is this player of darkness become a mirror to dispel the darkness so what this is saying is that a lot of you are coming out of a real negative situation and someone could be and some people could have been working negative energies um, um, against you or around you and you need to place a mirror around you so that you extend the negative energy back to that person okay and this is what I always tell people that they said you know and who was sending me the negative energy and I have to send it back no you don't have to send it back you do one thing you place a mirror around you and whatever they send to you BAM you say it goes automatically back to them okay people stop using your money to, to send negative energy to other people you're just creating karmas okay the people who are doing it for you they basically is making a lot of money and they know that the shit is going to be coming back to you because you paid and asked for it to be done all you have to do is use the mirror and here it is the wisdom of the Buddha because the Buddha if if there was another religion that I would have um, gone or be is a Buddha a Buddhism okay because Buddhism is one of the best best I've studied all the religions and Buddhism is the best and and this is what she's saying use become a warrior to display the the darkness okay so um at this time there's a lot of light workers who is working against the darkness so uh, if you're a light worker you will realize that you're having all these issues with people organization you can step out your house and go to the supermarket and just someone just seems to pick on you it's because your light is becoming very bright and the dark wants to connect to the light okay because people who are jealous of other people um, it says the word jealousy is because they are seeing that people exhale and people are glowing this light and it's because you're coming from a good place a good place people need to understand um, that now if you choose card two it's number 15 it's one and five is six so it's all about love and the offering is gift of songs um your skills are the gift you can share with others so a lot of you are going to be finding out that you have skills and gift that you can share with others now do that especially i'm seeing that whoever you young people wants to connect with it could be someone who you have met randomly and realize that just one sentence that someone says to you you realize that that pe that person really really cares about you and um, you really want to be connected with this person but it's as if some of you can't even say the word because you have never been taught the word it's as if your whole life you have been just going through um, situations in your own life and you have never been taught to say what it is that you want I'm seeing some of you are really appreciating the Bobcat keeps on coming up okay so let's see what you guys have as your spirit guides in this month what is it that you have as the spirit guides in this month if you choose card one card two choose one of these cards if you choose card one you have ten a new beginning lion spirit be generous of spirit be generous of spirit so some of you whoever chose this card you need to be generous of, of spirit you need to stand and have the energy of the lion because whatever is happening the strength is the energy of the lion also and it's as if you need to be generous of spirit <laughs> sometimes I'm like I'm like okay all right 
what it is you know so there is a new beginning call upon the lion spirit to stand with you um, the male and female lion at your left and right side use the energy of the lion spirit in this month to get over whatever don't let people walk over you roar like a lion and let people know where to stand and how um, what is your grants okay what is uh, um, your border how far they can come with you oh my god 10 10 10 damn Capricorns oh my god and cut by the lotto by the lotto by the lotto okay the buffalo spirit I love the buffalo spirit um, the um, the abundant universe will provide for you cappies oh my god so wonderful so good 10 10 10 3 plus 7 is 10 and then you have 10 um, the Buffalo spirit this is just so wonderful so powerful and it says the universe um, the abundant universe will provide for you ladies and gentlemen I love your reading let's see what the ascendance masters have for you guys and this is also two beautiful beautiful energies from the ascendance master okay Mary Magdalene Lee is also here and she wants you to um, rem, um, retain your truth and see the spirituality in all things so this is a message for someone out there um, Mary Magnali wants you to retain your truth I maintain my truth and see the spirituality in all things and I've always I've really I've gone through the last three years ladies and gentlemen damn the the the, the, the three blood moon damn but I maintain my truth and I see the spirituality in all things and that's the only way I could have gotten through the shit that I've, I've gone through the last couple years okay and, and and mine was like a seven years thing that was going on and then weird with the, the, the first three months of this year I have no idea but one thing I did was to maintain my truth and see the spirituality in everything because whenever I meet someone I know exactly I need to do a cl karma clearing okay and you can know that because sometimes you will meet people and it's as if I would have never spoken to you in a normal in a in, in some other form and you realize that this person um, cross your part for a reason I remember I met a young man and I said we're gonna be friends and he said to me what do you mean and I said you're also Capricorn and you were born close to the same year my son was born and I said and I knew I had to help him so you know what I'm basically saying is that stand your truth no matter what is going on you stand your truth okay when you have facts stand your truth about whatever is happening your last true two cards choose one card one and card two card one is Serasmus Bay and this is one of my favorite 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 ascendance masters and you can always say I walk with Serasmus Bay okay Serasmus Bay um, is the keeper of the white ascension flame in Atlantis and is now the coin of the fourth ray of harmony he is known as the Egyptian because he works with Archangel Metatron the um, to suffer the great primer pyramids with um, cosmic wisdom energy at the time of the construction so all the pyramid was basically and this is why the pyramids are such and uh, for a lot of people like you know how could these um, pyramid be built but there is a lot of cosmic energy and if you notice if you have ever um, visit a stone age or the pyramid you come back being a changed person trust me the first stone edge I have been to I've been to the one in Italy I've been to the one in Ireland and a couple others and really the energy is so powerful when you stand in them okay 
drawing this card and receiving this card you're invited to stand within the white flame and feel its influence connect with Sirasmus Bay and draw its energy of wisdom cooperation and dedication to yourself he is the only master to work with the seraphimi angels now the seraphimi angels only work with you if you're someone of pure art okay so um they will shower you with blessings as you tune in this ascension card i walk with serasmus bay so try and call upon the energies i walk with serasmus bay just sit down you can be in your car you can be at your desk you can be in a meeting and some bullshit is happening and you just start saying i walk with serasmus bay i walk with serasmus bay what that does is change the energy of the complete and this is it the simplest thing that we forget okay pick up my book uh, remove the veil of illusions because that can help you to understand things in a simpler form now one of my other favorite favorite most favorite solar system which is Sirius Sirius is a solar system there are many many thousands of solar system if you choose the second card that means you're connected to Sirius and you must go to Sirius in your dream time to um, receive information you can also go to Sirius to receive information that will help you um, to um, like invent things the star system of Sirius all 12 of the universal keys to enlightenment that is also on my English website so go check out what is the 12 keys of enlightenment um, when you um, access and comprehend them you become a master of the universe okay so when you access these 12 keys of the universe you will become very enlightened like myself okay um, this cards invite you to go to the training school and if you pick this card what Sirius is saying Sirius is a solar system they're very um, advanced because um, humans thinks that we are advanced we only use 10% of our brain and trust me I'm realizing that the last time humans only use two or two and a half percent of their brain cells okay so you need to go to series and this is what they're doing they're inviting you and the affirmation is I am open to the higher wisdom of series I am open to the higher wisdom of series I am open to the higher wisdom of series you can even say this when you are about to go to sleep fall asleep you can just say this three times and ask your guiding angels to guide you to series and um, and they will and they will help you ladies and gentlemen I love your reading I gotta go gotta go I gotta go pick up the on demand um, use the link below and then I'll just go express it both for money career finance namaste love you guys